So when you're on to your OSCEs and then you come into your, your individual space, um, please note about your mannequins. Whenever you'll find that there's a blood pressure cuff, there'll always be a palpable radial pulse. On the other side, on the left arm, this is like a dead arm, so you cannot palpate a pulse, nor can you do a blood pressure on that side. So what I'll show you now is how to carry out your vital signs um, throughout your OSCEs. So when you're feeling for your radial pulse, be sure not to kind of press too hard or too soft. So therefore, um, a kind of nice uh, medium feeling, you'll be able to then palpate the radial pulse. If you have issues feeling it with one finger, be sure to use at least two fingers um, over that area. Once you have a reading and you've counted for that minute, you can tell the marker that um, what the result would be. When you're carrying out your blood pressure, so when you're putting your stethoscope um, within that patient's arm, okay, you're going to use the soft, soft padding. Now, you won't um, pul palpate the brachial pulse. You'll be able to just put the stethoscope on and when you increase the cuff size, you'll then find um, that you'll then start to hear the audible blood pressure for your systolic and your diastolic. Now, when carrying out your respiratory rate, now, if you go a little bit closer to the mannequin, you should be able to audibly hear the breath sounds. But if you find you're having trouble, a really great technique and one that we do use in clinical practice is that use your stethoscope and what I want you to do is just place it anywhere on the lung fields and then you can auscultate for your breath sounds also for that one minute. When you're taking the temperature, now with this practice is that we don't want you to assume anything. So when you take the, per, uh, the mannequin's temperature, and you record it, you can ask what the temperature was and the marker will advise you um, the range that your temperature would be.